Hi guys, Joe Mac here and today ipapakita ko sa inyo yung current workstation setup ko. It's a streaming, YouTube, and video editing setup. So before we start this video, um, disclaimer lang because um, I've been wanting to make a setup tour for the longest time now. Kaya lang, medyo kulang tayo sa oras. Kaya palaging nade-delay. So naisip ko kahit hindi ganoon kaganda yung quality, kahit hindi sobrang nilinis ko yung setup na to. Ang importante is uh, one ma-share ko sa inyo yung current setup ko para magkaroon kayo ng idea. Especially kung ikaw ay isang aspiring video editor or video editor ka na and nag-iisip ka kung ano yung mga pwede mong gawin for your current PC para one ma-enhance mo yung productivity mo para mas marami kang magawa to para mas uh, lumawak yung knowledge mo uh, in terms of video editing and baka may mapulit ka rin tips and tricks dito sa setup ko and second reason why I'm doing this setup tour actually as video editors given na sa atin na palagi tayong mag-upgrade ng mga equipments natin given na yan and minsan nakaka parang konsuelo lang ba uh, sa expenses natin na nakikita natin nagde-develop yung workstation natin and especially for me na nagsimula sa talagang yung mga pinaka budget mga pinaka murang parts na kaya kong bilhin uh, nakakatuwa lang mag look back eventually dun sa mga kumbaga para naging evolution ng setup natin from a PC na second hand, uh, case na binigay lang, yung mga ganun. Tapos, unti-unti, napapalago natin yung career natin and our equipments. So, gusto kong gawin tong video na to, partly para sa akin na rin, para mabalikan ko yung setup ko ngayong September 2020, uh, once na-improve ko na siya ng husto. So, etong current setup ko ngayon, makikita nyo, hindi siya masyadong nalinis. Uh, as is lang talaga kung paano ko siya ginagamit day to day, hindi ko na rin niligpit para makita nyo yung realistic na nangyayari para sa isang video editor. So yung tour na to is probably mix ng mga b-rolls and handheld shots. So let's dive in guys. So for the first PC natin guys, ito yung Hackintosh slash render node slash backup PC ko. Ito yung galing do sa luma kong workstation and gusto ko all black build para kamukha na itong NCXT case na gusto ko. So I went with the Techware Nexus M case. Inside is the i7-2600K. CPU cooler is the Deepcool Gamax 400. RX 580 for the GPU because NVIDIA doesn't work with Hackintosh. 32GB of RAM. All black case fans, 1TB SSD, and 650W of power supply. For the monitors, I picked the Dell 24-inch 1080p IPS display. So this one I got from Facebook Marketplace for 10,000 pesos, 3 pieces. So all in all, very satisfied ako sa performance nito. Lalo na kapag naka Mac OS kasi very efficient siya. And I can also use yung mga AirDrop, AirPods connectivity, and other Mac OS exclusive features. Plus, maganda rin siya for Adobe. On Windows mode naman, of course, I use it for gaming and as a backup PC. For the keyboard, I'm using a TKL Blue Switch Mechanical Keyboard and a gaming mouse by Red Dragon. So basically, yung dalawang computer na to guys is connected via Ethernet cable sa likod and they talk to each other. That's why tuloy-tuloy lang yung editing habang yung isa nagre-render. Alright, for my main rig, inside the white track Hawani Flow case, I have the Ryzen 5 3600, 240i decooling AIO, 32GB of Corsair Vengeance RGB RAM, GPU is 1060 6GB by NVIDIA, and lots of storage, mostly NVMe. And 850 watts of gold power supply by si Sonic. Ang maganda dito, fully modular siya. And mura ko lang nabili kasi sale. Plus, um, a lot of RGB here and there. So as you can see on this video. So in case meron ka na gustuhan dito sa video na to, lahat naman ng products na yan, nakalink down below sa descriptions with the best pricing and the best feedback from the online sellers. So just make sure to check them out. So by the way, this is my keyboard, the Raklam Ang Pro, with a sample typing test. So obviously, I'm a huge 
fan of mechanical keyboards. If in case hindi nyo pa nasubukan guys, I really suggest you do. Plus, ang daming choices for not only the keycaps but also the mechanical switches. So be sure to try them out. I'm sure may babagay sa'yo. For the mouse, I have the Razer Viper Mini just because ang gaan niya sa kamay. And that's it for this episode guys. So, I'm still contemplating kung ipapublish ko itong video na to or para sa akin na lang siya. But if in case ipapublish ko talaga siya, I will make sure naman na you also have the links for the PC parts na na-feature dito for the builds para kung sakaling gusto mong gayahin for your setup or para magkaroon ka rin ng idea kung magkano yung budget na kailangan mo. Again, disclaimer lang, it doesn't need to be expensive. Of course, meron tayo mga budget guides for all of those especially dun sa mga nagsastart pa lang dito. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up kung nagustuhan mo itong episode na to. Rest assured, I will make sure to keep you guys updated in case na may mga binabago tayo sa current setup natin. But thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you all in the next episode.